M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Someone asked me to provide a link for the software for the TRD Radio HA8, but to include separate versions for the unlocked ham radio version, which is here, you can see it in front of you. The other version is the GMRS, and also the normal ham version. Now within these files, we're quite lucky, if I just open one of them, just here, you'll see if we double click, we get the firmware upgrade program, which is called the H8IAP, which looks like this here. And that's really easy to use. And I'm going to actually show you in a second. Um, also, we get the software, the programming software, which is if we go back one, just here, that's the programming software, just run these. It's just a normal CH340 USB driver like you'd use on your Bofung, but make sure you select that you're using CH340. And we'll go back one as well. Show you the software, what that and the software actually works well. And also, you get chirp anyway. Chirp works really well on this radio. And you just read and write here. Let's just remember to set your COM port, you know, set COM port, and just let's just do that again. Set COM port is a bit of a delay, it'll, it'll realize that you're connected to the radio, and then it'll tell you, yeah, that's the COM port. The only thing that I found strange was when you do the firmware, there isn't actually firmware mode as it, you turn the radio off like so, I'll just turn mine off. We're not gonna do the software now. I've done a separate video on that. But if we just open up the firmware by going the firmware loader, so that one there, you do select the com, go set communication port, make sure the lead is plugged in and it, will, it still will de detect your lead even when the radio's off. I'm COM11, let's just make sure, I'll turn it on first, just so it can find it, I thought it would find it turned off, anyway it's on, it's cancelled, we'll close the program, we'll reopen it, IAP, we'll click COM, there is a delay, there it is there, 11. Click OK. Open the file. Now I want to open the file for the ham unlock version. So I'll have to find that in my folder, which is just here. Ham unlocked. I mean, everything looks the same. They're just different firmware bins. Firmware, and that's the bin I want. Now the way you work, it works now is to turn the radio off. This is the bit that confused me. Click Start, turn it on. And you might have to do it a couple of times, and then it just starts to load. So you can see it's failed at that time there. Try it a couple of times. That's what I found. And eventually, you click end and start. And eventually it goes. What you do, you get a blue line along the bottom. Once you get that, you know you've done it right. So check out my other video as well. That's the process. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I thought I'd put these links in one place, make it a lot easier. We've also included the OD Master link for the Play Store, which is on your phone. You can program this radio using that. Just push the button on the front that says BL, BL. That turns on your Bluetooth, and then you can start programming using the app. Again, I made a video on that. And there's also, it's linked to the PC version which is here, once you log in, it knows what you've done in the past. You can edit on your PC. The next time you log in on your phone and send it to the radio, it just works. And uh, the other thing I had was this Surecom 102 tester. Someone asked me where I got it from. They're really good. They do SWR. I've had it for a couple of years and it just works well and it's built got a built-in battery. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 73, all the best.